hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are back with a bath and body works semi-annual sale haul so if you want to see what i got this year at the bath and body works semi-annual sale please keep watching and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button thank you all right so this is the time i always try to stock up on my hand soaps my gifts for the year which are like lotions and body sprays but <laughs> I feel like next year is going to be a little bit different because I have been giving body sprays and lotions and body washes for a couple of years now as birthday gifts, Mother's Day gifts. Ooh, maybe I should have bought some for Mother's Day. Hmm, maybe I need to go back. Um, but I'm always giving that like as my gift. I mean, why not? Because everything is so cheap. It ends up coming out to like two or three dollars each. So. I just take this time to stock up but this year I really didn't stock up as gifts as I just kind of gave away because I just feel like everybody always gets that from me and it's so predictable and so I'm just gonna have to find a different affordable gift to give you know all my aunts and cousins that I have been gifting this to I mean don't get me wrong like I love Bath & Body Works you can buy me Bath & Body Works like all day because I'm always using the sprays and the lotions like every day whether it's you know just getting up in the morning and just wanting to smell good even if you're going to be around the house or you know every time you get out of the shower you need to moisturize and you need to put on lotion so i love you know spraying my body and then putting lotion on just kind of layering it on so i can just never have enough but i don't know if other people feel the same way so i don't know maybe it's time to switch it up but now that i was just talking about mother's day and i have a lot of mothers <laughs> in my life <laughs> well you know my own mother my grandma and i have three aunts that are here in this state that i see every mother's day so <laughs> maybe i do need to go back and grab a couple of sprays and lotions i don't know because i do know everything that i bought on this trip is for me and the house um, so let's get started but first I was not gonna buy the wallflowers only because I swear they come out cheaper during a different day of the year or month of the year but I don't know I just been tripping lately and so when I saw them you know they were on sale I think at like the three dollars and fifty cents but then to top it off in the mail you got a 20% coupon off of your entire purchase and it doesn't expire until January 24th and so I just decided to use it today like whatever it's fine usually I do find a Bath & Body Works that does have you know those good sales even without that 20% coupon so then that way the wallflowers they were coming out to like two dollars and eighty cents after the twenty percent off coupon but i didn't feel like stocking up on all these wallflowers and all these plugins i already have a lot of glade plugins and i always get coupons for those at different stores like at walgreens or target so i'm always staying stocked up on the glade plugins but i do like to use the wallflowers for our room <laughs> i did need a new plugin so i did buy another one of these well not another one that other one i threw out oh my god it was so old so i just bought a simple white one for my room the tag says 550 i don't know if you can see that but of course after the coupon it came out to four 40 so not bad and so i only ended up getting two wallflowers because like i said i don't use them all around the house i just use them in you know my room and kind of just treat myself to these special scents not that my glade plugins aren't special <laughs> because like i love those and i love having those like in the public areas in the house and so one that i saw oh my god i had the candle of this maybe last year and i just remember it smelling so good and so as soon as i saw it i had to grab it it's the mahogany teak wood oh my god and tell me why there was only like two or three in the bin that were left of this like it was kind of empty so i was like okay well, let me grab it so i got that one for my room and then i actually have a sweet pea one that that i've been wanting to use but like i said the little plug-in thing oh my god it was so old and it wasn't even working anymore so i have a sweet pea one from like the last semi-annual sale back in the summertime and let me tell you something i don't like sweet pea as the body spray or the lotion and so when my coworker gave it to me as the wallflower i was kind of like, Ugh, like thank you oh my god you're so nice thank you 
but oh my god when i plugged it into the wallflower oh my god it smells amazing like i swear like there is a science to this stuff like this candle that i'm burning back here the cherry frost i got that as a gift when you smell it without burning it smells like crap <laughs> like I was kind of like oh my god and once again I got it as a gift so I was like oh thank you and I smelled it and I was like oh my god like I'm never gonna use this and so I went to my sister-in-law's house she had the same candle burning and it smelled so good and so I was so excited because I smelled it right I'm like oh my god like her house smells so good right now like what is she burning and lo and behold it's the purple cherry frost candle and I was like Oh my god like this is amazing i can't wait to go home and burn my cherry frost candle because i tell you it smells one way when you're in the store and you're smelling it it'll smell a different way after you light it and burn it like it's crazy and then just like the sweet pea thing i don't care for the scent for the body sprays and lotions but the wallflower smells amazing so i have that one on back stuck and then the last one that I grabbed of that is Pacific Coastline. This one really smelt very airy and very fresh and just something that I thought would that I would want to smell. So I went ahead and bought that one. And like I'd mentioned before, the wallflowers, they came out to 280. So not a bad deal at all, but like I said, didn't feel like stocking up just because like I don't use those around the house. Maybe someday I'll make the switch. Uh, maybe next semi-annual sale I'll make the switch, but that just wasn't happening right now. So these next items I did buy for myself. Um, I do remember this one being at the semi-annual sale back in the summertime. I thought that I bought it, but I did not. And if I did, I probably gave it away as a gift. <laughs> but it smells so good. To me it does. They had a lot of different body sprays, but I'm not one to just buy them just because they're on sale. I mean, it depends. But that day, I was just not in the mood to buy something just because it was on sale. I wanted something that was actually going to smell good. Like I said, I'm trying to change my gift giving, so I didn't want to just go too crazy and just buy whatever. Um, so I went ahead and just bought this for myself. There's no lotion or anything to go with it, but I just really like it. And, you know, I like to just spray it on if I just feel like feeling refreshed or if I just want to smell good so this one it doesn't smell bad at all all right and then pink coconut calypso oh my god it came out to 290 it's just as much as the wallflower is crazy 290 regular price is 1450 and this one it says the keynotes are coconut water seaside frasia sun-kissed lily apple and driftwood i don't know what it is with me and the woods <laughs> like the sandalwood the driftwood but i just love it mm. Mm. that's definitely something that i'll spray on after i get out the shower okay and then these next two items my aunt actually bought these for me in the miniature travel size last year for christmas and ooh, she bought me the lotion the body spray and i think it was a hand sanitizer and it's all like the mini ones and oh my god it smelled so good and i only use it when we have been traveling so that's really the only time i've been able to use it but i love the scent so when i saw it there i knew i just had to grab it i was so excited that it was on sale too so i went ahead and bought the body cream the snowflakes and cashmere so yeah this is the ultra shea oh you can't see it so this is the ultra shea body cream 24 hour moisture and this is eight ounces and then i love these body washes oh my god can the bottle be smaller yes but i don't care as long as what's inside is in there because <laughs> i just love this stuff i got the gingham one for christmas last year from one of my co-workers and oh my god it was my first time using this body wash not the gel kind but this one oh my god it was amazing I went through it so fast. I don't know if it had to do with the scent or if it was the actual product. I mean, I'm sure it was both, but I just loved it so much. And when I saw it in this scent, the snowflakes and cashmere, oh my God, 
I wasn't sure if it was on sale though because it was on a display that said, you know, select items up to 50% off. So I prayed and I put them in my bag and I got to the cashier and I was like, uh, how much are these? I want to check to see. Even though, yeah, all the Christmas and wintry stuff was on sale, but I just wanted to make sure. And so the regular price on the body wash is $13.50 and then on the body cream is $14.50. And so after, you know, the semi-annual sale discount and the 20% off coupon that I had. Oh wow, it came out to $3.96 each. So yeah, that's not bad. So $4 for some a lotion that I really love and then a body wash that I really love. $4? Um, I'll take it. And the body wash is 10 ounces. I think I already said that the cream is 8 ounces. But yeah, I just love this. Oh, and then see the fragrance notes. Vanilla cashmere cream, caramel woods, and frosted clementine. Okay. See, I can see me doing the vanilla and like I said, anything woody. So maybe that's why I like it. Oh my god. I can't wait to take a shower. Oh my god. It just smells so good. I'm usually not one for vanilla, but let me tell you something. <laughs> like when I was in my 20s, like I hated vanilla and anything that smelled cupcakey or like cookies. I was like, oh my god, why would somebody put that on their body? But once I hit 30, that threshold, I don't know what happens, but I... I just fell in love with anything vanilla. Like, you know, their other scent that they have, the warm vanilla sugar, um, vanilla bean, like anything vanilla, like I was buying and I was spraying it. I was lotioning it up. Like I was doing everything with vanilla, anything that smelled like cupcakes. Like it was weird. Like it was a whole phase that I went through and I did get out of the, the craziness of it, like using it for everything, but I still like it. Like I'm not to that point where I was in my 20s when I was like, oh my God, you're putting warm vanilla sugar on your body. Like I'm not there yet, like I'm not against it. Like obviously because yeah, this has vanilla cashmere cream as one of the fragrance notes. So that must be why I like it. But yeah, so $3.96 and $3.96, not bad. All right, and so I have been running out of hand soap lately. I mean, who isn't? But late, here lately, I have just been buying like the dial soaps just because, you know, I'm not going to pay the full price at Bath & Body Works because, yeah, the gentle foaming hand soaps, which are my favorite, they're like $7.50. And then even then, it's like they do the sales. I think it's like 6 for 24 or 6 for 26 and Either way, it's still coming out to like $4 or more. I know there's a bigger one and I just can't do it. So so I have to hold off until December, January. And then when is the next time they do it? Like in the summertime, like May or June. So, But I don't mind. I don't mind at all. And so what they did have on sale at the Bath & Body Works that I go to was a lot of the wintry smells and which I don't mind. I don't care. I'm not opposed to. So I ended up buying a couple that I think are kind of wintry. I mean, the other ones, I think you can get away with using them all year. So the first two I got that are really wintry, the first one is the White Barn Fresh Sparkling Snow with essential oils. So this one I bought before and I know that I love it. So I just knew that I had to put this in my bag. <laughs> and then of course, Vanilla Bean Noel. <laughs> so I had to grab this one, of course me and my vanilla self. So this next one I had never heard of. I've never smelt it before. It's called Dazzling Nights. So here's the bottle. That's what that looks like. And I mean, the smell isn't so bad either. I mean, especially like for your hands. And then what are the keynotes here? Oh, <laughs> there it goes again. Warm vanilla, spiced winter berries, and cedar wood. I don't know what it is with me in the woods and the vanilla. I don't know. So look, so here's the Dazzling Nights Warm Vanilla Spiced. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of blurry. Warm Vanilla is the first one. Okay, it's too blurry, you couldn't see. And then, so, and then of course the Vanilla Bean Noel. The keynotes are fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, and sugar cookies. <laughs> so yeah. We're just having fun with our vanilla selves. Oh, okay, I shocked myself with this one. 
But this one, it smells really fresh, the fresh sparkling snow. The keynotes in this one are icy melon, holiday pear, and falling snow because falling snow, we all know, have a scent, so. Pretty happy we're kind of getting out of the vanilla and out of the woods. But let's see what these two do. So these are actually my last two hand soaps that I got from there and it's the Peach Bellini. I just love the peach soaps. I've bought the Peach Bellini soap before so I knew this was another must have that I have to restock again because I just love it. Okay, and so be proud of me again because here's the key notes in this one. It's juicy peach, white apricot, and fresh mango. <laughs> So this one's more like citrusy, fruity, kind of, I don't know, but but hey, it's not vanilla or wood, okay? So, so give me some credit. So I was only able to just stock up on those five, like for now. Like I said, I mean, I have been buying like the dial soap and the soft soap lately here in the house. So I'll just save these for when we have like special guests over, which I don't know when that's gonna be, so. So these should keep me stocked up for a while since, you know, we're not going to have guests for a while. I don't know. And so for each of those soaps, you know, the regular price is $7.50. And so after my 20% coupon, they each came out to $3. So that's not bad. So $3 each for these. So, I mean, I'll take it. I'm, I don't remember if you can get them any cheaper. I'm sure you can somewhere and I'm sure I could have saved my coupon because even when I gave the lady my coupons oh so I gave her a coupon for this because in the mail you got the 20% off coupon and then you also got the free body care item up to $14.50 value and so of course you know me like I love the shower gel and the body wash from there and I love this scent too a thousand wishes I feel like you can never go wrong with this one what are the keynotes in here oh okay Pink Prosecco Sparkling Quince. I was about to say Sparkling Quince. <laughs> sparkling Quince. Crystal Peonies, Gilded Amber, and Amaretto Cream. Oh my God, it just smells so good. Oh my God. My sister-in-law, she bought me the, the travel size of this scent last year oh my gosh she got me the lotion and i think the body gel i don't know if the spray is in there i think it is but i haven't even touched it just because you know i want to save it and use it when i go on a special trip i don't know and so this is what i picked for my free item it's the 10 ounce shower gel the regular price is 13.50 so i used my coupon on that so when i gave her the coupon for that i accidentally gave her like both of them and they weren't even like teared apart yet and so I guess she thought I was going to save my 20% coupon like for a bigger purchase in the future. And so she used the free one and she's like, oh, do you want to use your 20% off today? And I was like, yeah. I'm like, why wouldn't I? <laughs> but by me using it, I was hoping that that would make me not want to go again because knowing that I already used it, it's like, why am I gonna go spend more money? But I don't know if that's gonna work and I don't know if that's gonna happen. <laughs> but I don't care, I used it, I still saved some money, so it's all good. And you know, if I do go again out to Bath and Body Works, I'll go to a different one and see what type of stuff they have. Because this location I went to, it's really small and so, Maybe that's why they didn't have like so much. So maybe if I do go, I'll just try a different location and then see what kind of deals and steals they're having there. I mean, you never know. Get some body spray for what, $2.90? And see, so even then, before the 20% off, I mean, the price was just coming out to three something for a body spray. So that's still not bad, even without the 20% off coupon. This is my first year actually getting <laughs> the coupons because all of my coupons have been going to my grandma's house. <laughs> like that email address and everything, like it has my grandma's address from when I lived there like 10 years ago. And so I haven't been getting anything. And so I created a new email address for my iCloud. And so therefore I created a new Bath and Body Works account and I put my current address now. And now I'm finally getting all the coupons. <laughs> now I'm getting to reap the benefits because I don't know where all those, I don't know where all my mail goes that 
is going to my grandma's house. I don't know. But yeah, so all these years that I haven't been getting my mail, <laughs> I've been shopping, you know, without the 20%, like without the free item. The only coupons I get are when you shop and then when they give them to you in the bag. And so those are the only ones that I've been getting. And so this year I was like, hell yeah, like I'm actually getting <laughs> the coupons in the mail. So more savings. And so total this trip, my subtotal came out to 38.78. So 38.78 divided by 12 items is coming out to $3.23 each. Okay, so that's not bad at all. So 3.23 for this, 3.23 for this, 3.23 for this, you know, 3.23 for these, even though of course it was showing cheaper on the receipt, but it's because this was actually free. All right, so there's the free body wash. It came out to 0.00, .00 on my receipt. Oh, okay, so the next one is the Dazzling Nights Soap. It's coming out to $3. The one after that is the Peach Bellini, $3. There goes a the Vanilla Bean, $3. Fresh Sparkling Snow, $3. Another Peach Bee, <laughs> Peach Bellini, $3. Pink Coconut Calypso, $2.90. The Snowflakes in Cashmere coming out to $3.96. And then the eight ounce snowflakes and cashmere coming out to three ninety six, and then the sun dazed, this, and then the sun dazed Pacific coastline wallflower two eighty mahogany teakwood wallflower two eighty. Then the little plug in for my wallflowers coming out to four forty. And so there you have it. After the twenty percent off discount and the coupon for the free body care item, the total is thirty eight seventy eight. And so yeah, 323 for all these, so not bad at all. But yeah, I just love, you know, shopping at Bath and Body Works when they have this semi-annual sale. It gives me a chance, you know, to stock up on things and certain items that I ran out of, and it just gives me a chance to kind of treat myself too. Well, all right, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If so, please give it a big thumbs up, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.